Mama. Good morning. Where's that mirror? You see baby. What? What do you see? A bear? That's a pink bear. I just see a bear. Bear, good job. Ooh. What's over there? What's over here? Is this a piggy? Oink, 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 oink. Yeah. Oh, she's got money in her. <laughs> she's got money. She's full of money. Yeah. Did you sleep good? Yeah. Yeah. What else do you see? Sophia. I have Sophia the first. <laughs> Sophia the first. <laughs> you ready to get up? We gotta go to the gym. <laughs> we are driving to the gym to go get in a trainer session. Had to take some food on the road. I heated up some of the pancakes, the ones that I made last week. I'm already going to have to make another batch. I'm probably gonna to have to make the other bag for the remainder of the week and a half we have left until we leave. But anyway, we had um, that and the sausages I prepped last week. Yeah, that's what I said. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Mommy, I am just holding my head. Oh. So I am going to also look into the swim lessons and ballet class. Emmy said she wanted to play sports. So I told her to really think hard what she wanted to play so that we could sign up. She doesn't need swim classes. She's done with that. But she knows I how to swim. Some. Maddie needs swim classes. Because I don't know how to swim. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> um, ballet was easy for Maddie. Sports were a little bit harder last year for Maddie. So we're going to nix the sports this year, I think and do ballet instead. And I don't, I, they don't have a dance class here for Emmy, um, but I know she would like that if we did find a dance class. So we're gonna go get our workout on. Okay, just left the gym. I got a sudden attack of allergies. Hopefully that doesn't continue because we all know how that goes. Great workout. I got there early this time, so I got to, it was 50 minutes total, 30 minutes with him weight training, and I did 20 minutes of warm up and cardio, so it felt really great. It was a good workout, burned a good amount of calories, felt good. Then, I, um, after I worked out, my mistake was I left my wallet in the bag or else I could have left them in child watch while I registered. I registered Maddie for the Tiny Dancers ballet class and, and, this, and this one class. And this one class. And she's already in stage two because I guess there are three stages for her age group and it's based on what their capabilities are and she voluntarily will go underwater, so she skipped stage one. I guess that's the whole purpose of stage one, is to go underwater by her, themselves, and she'll already do that. So, so we went ahead and put her in stage two, and it was, I feel like, reasonably priced to what I had Emmy in last year. The difference is at YMCA for Maddie's age group, I don't. A parent doesn't have to get in the pool with her. Three to five years old, they can get in the pool by themselves with the trainer. The place that I had Emmy in last summer and the summer before, the fall before, um, for her age group, so up to six years old, a parent has to get in the pool with you. That's a lot of work for 30 minutes for me to have to get in the pool. So this is perfect because I don't have to get in the pool. It was $70 for eight sessions, which, like I said, I feel like is comparable to what I was paying, maybe even a little bit cheaper to what I was paying for Emmy. So yeah got her that so we got one session and then a whole summer of tiny dancers she'll miss the first two weeks because we'll be in Disney but after that she'll get to go to it and so now the only thing for Emmy's age group they have a hip-hop class but it's not until 11 so that's kind of disappointing but the only thing that this YMCA has for Emmy's age group sports are already closed um, they don't have the dance class for her age group they have a uh, jujitsu. Ju can I say that? Jujitsu, ju which I'm gonna ask her if she's interested in because I know when we went to go try out karate before, she really liked that. It was just so over the top expensive and very, very far for us to get to. 
so we didn't end up going with that karate academy and this is super reason reasonably priced and I think it's once or twice a week so I'm going to see if she wants to do that and or a sport for the summer because now that we're not doing the cruise or anything we're just doing Disney pretty much our summer will be done traveling after the first two weeks of summer so I plan on filling our plate with activities the great thing about the YMCA is so Maddie's swim classes are in the morning so I can work out put her in child watch I can work out with my trainer or do cardio whatever put her in child watch her swim classes are at 9 30 they're only 30 minutes do um, swim classes with her and be out by this time like it's 10 10 right now I just have to do my trainer sessions a little bit earlier with Mike and that's Monday through Thursday so it'll give me a reason to be at the gym early Monday through Thursday so that I can work out all summer long which is awesome and then uh, Autumn can stay in child watch for two hours in the morning up to two hours in the morning so like she probably will be there like an, a little over an hour hour and a half and then on Tuesdays Maddie has ballet at four and Autumn can be in a uh, child watch for another up to two hours in the afternoon and her dance class is 45 minutes. So that works out perfectly to do things at the YMCA because for Autumn it's really difficult to keep her entertained for that long, to have her sit for that long or whatever. Whereas when she's in child watch, she loves being there now. Like she ran in there today all smiles super happy to play with toys and the other kids she loves it in there now it gets her interacting they sing songs read books you know it, it's something to get her more than just like with the same old toys with her sisters every day at home so that's really exciting now I just have to figure out what for Emmy because Girl Scouts does not run over the summer they take a break for the summer they only have one activity in July um, but other than that they take a break they don't do normal activities we don't meet during the summer and things like that so I just have to figure out what Emmy wants to do and see if I can incorporate it in the YMCA in some way and if I cannot we'll sign her up for regular NYS or something like that sports and see how that goes so I'm super excited I got a lot accomplished this morning workout got registration going now I'm gonna go home finish up breakfast straighten up play for a little while and then nap time and shower time for me I can't wait to wash my hair I'm finally taking the time to sit here and go through all of this stuff so be on the lookout for a blog sale in the next few days I've had a productive but lazy day I don't know I mean when I came home I finished up breakfast for them so typically before we go to the gym we have just like a little small breakfast autumn has her milk and then we'll come home and have kind of like what would be a morning snack but it's a continuation of breakfast so I give them that and then we play for a little while which we did put autumn down for a fairly early nap like 11 30 11 40 typically she doesn't go down until almost noon but then it's hard because if she doesn't wake up until closer to three then I'm rushing to feed her before we have to go get Emmy she doesn't want to eat dinner you know a lot of us so I put her down for a fairly early nap with just you know a heavier snack and she slept until right after two I had lunch going already brought her down uh, Maddie had been having quiet time brought her down they had lunch and while they were having quiet time and nap time I um, took a shower got myself ready straightened up the bedroom and um, did that stuff that I was showing you guys I went through it all and this is tried, I see her trying to organize it and whatnot so now thank you bye Okay. Well, Mommy, um, I have no, I have no homework this week. Are you sure? I'm mm -hmm. sure. Did, did your teacher tell you? Yes. So I can play with you, Maddie. Outside. Well, are you sure? Because it's sure. not the last. Are you, you're not gonna have any work uh, homework next week either. No, ma'am. So y'all are just well, done. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the 
gonna ask Miss Girl tomorrow. If you have I know that I'm not gonna have homework this week, but I don't know about next week. Mm. Okay. Well, I'll look through your backpack and see. We're going to the doctor right now. Yeah. So I'm picking her up. We're headed to the doctor, and then I'm gonna stop by either Walmart or HB and get just a few things to get us through the next. Let's see. How many days do we actually need? of dinners. It's just gonna be a very few things, like very few. <laughs> Bread, apples, milk, things like that because we are out of eggs, almost out of bread, almost out of milk. So I'm just gonna pick up a few things, like probably under $50 to get us through the rest of this week and next week before we leave, so here we go. This girl was super brave. This is the first time she's ever had blood. She's had flu shots and her vaccines, but never had blood drawn. She had to have a little bit of lab work for the antifungal she was on just to make sure her, her organs look fine and didn't have any reaction to the med. But <laughs> she handled it like a champ. And she got stickers for her sisters too. I got hat to move What'd you get? I got Wonder Woman and I'm good. What'd you Minnie. get, Autumn? What's your sticker? Minnie. Who's that? Minnie. Minnie. <laughs> good girl. Oh, poor Autumn, we got into the procedure room and she was like having a fit and then once she realized she it wasn't her turn, you know, because normally when we come, especially lately, it's Autumn's turn. And once she realized it What's wasn't that, her, honey? I have no idea what those are. Peanuts? No, I don't know what they are. Um, once she realized it wasn't for her, she was like, oh, okay. She was holding Emmy's hand and she was fine. So now we're going to go get just a few groceries and go home and have some dinner. Um, you know, mommy's not that great at flowers. Is this, I don't even want to guess because I have no idea. I don't want to put the flower to shame. Lavender? Maybe not. Okay, a tiny little grocery haul. I caved and got a few groceries, um, which I told you guys I probably would, just because we ran out of food quicker than I thought we would, and we have a lot of little things, but nothing really to make meals, like healthy meals or quick meals. So I bought some stuff to kind of fill in the gaps because I'm totally fine eating the same thing every day. Like if I have a stir fry, with a vegetable or whatever, like for my healthy meal, then I'm fine with that. But the girls, what happened? But for the girls, it's harder. They don't mind eating those things, but sometimes it, it gets too much. Like they don't like the monotony. And Maddie's out of school already for the summer. So I have another one joining me for lunch every day. So just to try and give a little bit of variety for breakfast and lunches. So I got some hot dog buns, just one thing of hot dog buns, but I got two things of hot dogs, one pack of grapes. These go really quickly. So I tried not to get things either that would one, go bad before we leave or two, we could go through quick enough because we only have oh, like 11 days until we leave. So grapes those will go pretty quickly um some sweet potatoes for one night to go with like chicken sweet potatoes broccoli or something like that i got pasta sauce i'm going to make them regular meat sauce pasta tonight and i'm gonna have my edamame spaghetti with the meat sauce and then i got the big one so that i could do pizzas later on next week or later this weekend or something i got one bag of cereal it's the cinnamon dino bites they, and I bought it mainly because it was on like clearance or on sale for $4, which is a really great deal for this big bag of cereal. And they like the cinnamon. It kind of tastes like cinnamon toast crunch. So I got that. Another thing of bread. Great thing about this. What's wrong? Would you like help? Say help, please. Well, I guess you were saying please. Sorry. The great thing about this bread is it freezes really nicely. So if we don't end up using it before we go, I can just pop it in the freezer. No big deal. Pinto beans for the hot dogs, one night for dinner. Refried beans uh, to go with the cauliflower rice, or Mexican rice cauliflower and enchiladas. I got some uh, tortillas, corn tortillas, so that we can have enchiladas, and then I'll have it just enchilada without the tortilla. Um, but we haven't ha I have enchilada sauce here, and I was like, oh, quick and easy. All I need to do is pick up beans and tortillas, which is very inexpensive. 
and I have everything else to make the enchiladas and to make the cauliflower rice here. So that uh, thing of strawberries, we go through these really quickly and also if we don't finish them, actually they'd probably be bad by the time we leave, but if we start to not finish them, I can always chop them up and freeze them. Bananas, same thing. These are kind of strange looking bananas. They're kind of short and stout, but these can always be frozen. I mean, we go through bananas quickly, but they can always be frozen. Same thing with the hot dogs. I bought two packs of the classic Franks. Um, one, just because they like to have one hot dog and usually a hot dog or two on the side without it, and I can eat them without the bun. So, yeah, that. And then yogurt. This is a 12 pack. I kind I teetered teetered in between getting like two four packs or a 12 pack. Um, the 12 pack is obviously cheaper per yogurt. I figured if we ran out of milk or something next week, um, we could use these up. I mean, they, they'll they be good for a little while, at least through the next week. And if each of them have a yogurt or Autumn has a half a yogurt, that's only four days worth of yogurt. So it should be fine. And then I did get two more things of milk. And this will be the last milk that I get. Um, this one expires on the 11th and we leave on the 10th. That one expires on the 12th. And again, we leave on the 10th. And I got um, 33 dozen eggs. And that, if we run out of eggs, I'm not buying any more. So, if that'll, it is what it is. We'll use these. I even have stuff to make cookies that I could freeze. Or I wanted to make um, pizza dough and things like that for the girls. And then I have almond flour to make me some as well. Um, so I could even use it for those types of things. No big deal. So that was what I got. It was about $45. Not a lot for $45, but these children are going crazy, so I'm going to put these groceries away and get started on dinner. What are y'all doing? Can mommy have that, please? Thank you. Oh. Get, get, give it back to her. See if she'll give it to me. Oh, that's nice, Autumn. Give it to mommy, please. She was like, I ain't giving this thing up, Mom. Sissy just gave it back to me. Mama, can Sissy have, uh, can mommy have it? Oh, good job. Thank you for giving it to Sissy. High five. Good job. Yeah. Come here. No, now she wants it back. Okay, so salad tonight with the pasta for the girls. Um, I used up the last of my baby carrots, half of a cucumber. I still have one more of those. Some bacon. I used up all of my feta, which is great. All this stuff, the romaine lettuce, all that I already had in the fridge so I'm just gonna toss it with some Bolt House salsa ranch dressing. I want to use this up before we leave as well. I have the cheeses I need to use up. That's gonna go on top of their pasta. And then over here after I pour it all theirs I put in the rest of my Roma tomatoes to get nice and squishy and add just even more flavor and then to get rid of them. So tonight was a great day for emptying up the fridge. <laughs> making some protein balls. I just got this recipe on Pinterest. I don't know. I was telling, um, the trainer was telling me today about, you know, like having 
protein snacks and different things. And I was like, yeah, I've been wanting to try and do protein balls. And he was like, look on Pinterest. There's some really great ideas. So I looked and there was, this is the one that I had everything on hand. There are a bunch of different ways you can make it, but this is the one that I had everything. So it is oats, which of course I had some <laughs> flaxseed, which we had some peanut butter and semi-sweet chocolate. Um, this is still good. I don't know what the date is. It's good until November of this year, but I've had them for so long. I'll never buy the chocolates. Of this. I don't make cookies enough. I don't bake often enough to need these. This large of one. I can just buy the... I mean, it's a really great deal at Costco. I just don't need this big old bag. So next time I may even buy dark chocolate, but I want to see if the girls like these as well. And then um, it took a little bit of honey and we just have this raw honey or pure organic honey. And I use some cooking spray to get the peanut butter and the honey out of the measuring tool. So I'm just gonna mix it up, roll them, and then pop them in the fridge, I believe is what it says. Seriously, so easy. I didn't even count how many I got out of that. Um, they said 12, I guess I made them a little bit smaller. So I have three, seven, 12, 16, 19. So I got a little over a dozen and a half. Um, but they were seriously so easy. It took me way less than 10 minutes. Once I mixed everything together, I rolled them. Now I'm going to pop them in the fridge and they said they're good in the fridge for a week. So we'll try them later. Good night. See you tomorrow. Maddie. Good night. See you tomorrow. And Daddy. Oh. Good night. See you tomorrow. Boop. He's not going to the bathroom by the way. <laughs> He's fixing the toilet. They're actually really good. And a nice little Sweet tooth craving. Tell us about AJ Not bad at all. Styles. Superstars brought their A games tonight. AJ Styles got them there. Don't mind the nose and the scratchy voice and my allergies. Kicked my butt again today. Story of my life, man. I need to be so. I know you guys are going to be like, well, let's take your allergy medicine. I can't help it, okay? I need to just include it in my pill popper thing that I have. I hate taking medicine. Hate it. Like it drives me bonkers even to take my vitamins every day. But this stinks too. I wonder how the allergies are in Florida. I don't know if it's worse because it's more humid or worse here because it's more dry. I don't know. Anyway. I went downstairs and watched Total Bellas with Andres and it was so sad. I'm so sad that Nikki Bella and John Cena are broken up. Like they didn't even get married. I was so hoping he would change his mind. They would have a baby and live happily ever after. But no, they broke up. So anywho, I'm going to bed. Well, I'll probably watch 13 Reasons Why for a couple, maybe an episode and then go to bed. I have to be up early. Tomorrow I have a trainer appointment and then Autumn has her therapy appointment at 10 45 so i'm going to call it a night hopefully you guys enjoyed we'll see you tomorrow